Your party has helped obliterate, should I say, the opposition here. Uh, did you make a mistake? I'm saying now the BJP is coming out and all your narrative is not about the Congress, which anyone will say, yes, is the second uh, biggest party in, uh, in Telangana, even though you will not agree. But your, your narrative is all about the BJP. Is it because you have now uh, obliterated the uh, Congress or the, whatever the opposition that it presented and now you have left open space for them? Well, firstly, Congress as a second party, you said, uh, you know, in Telangana, not just me, but I don't think the people of Telangana agree with you. Could be your personal opinion that they're second. I don't think they are because look at any election over the last eight years, they stand no chance, firstly. Secondly, um, you know, when it comes to BJP, the reason why you have to question BJP is because eight years after being in government in New Delhi, in, in Delhi and, uh, you know, being in the central government, what have they delivered for the people of this country, not just for Telangana? You know, Prime Minister Modi talked about doubling farmers' income in, in, by 2022. I think the farmers' input costs have doubled, farmers' uh, problems have doubled. He talked about how ineffective UPA was in terms of uh, uh, their containment of fuel prices. Today, gas cylinder has shot up from 400 rupees to 1050. I remember Prime Minister Modi saying, cylinder ko namaskar karo aur ja ke vote karo. To kisko abhi namaskar kare? Do karod rozgar ki baat unhoni ki thi. Har saal. Phir 14,000 yuvaon ko rozgar milna tha. Kahaan hua hai? To agar mein baat karne lagu hoon, aur 20 lakh karod ki unhoni baat ki, pata nahi kaan gya. So, if we start talking about you know, the failures of uh, BJP as a, as a party, as a government, there's plenty. So obviously, as a responsible opposition, as a responsible party, which has been running uh, the state of Telangana, which has done exceedingly well in the state, we have to highlight, compare and contrast so that people have clarity on who to choose in days to come. But for seven years, almost, I mean, at the same time that Mr. KCR became CM, Mr. Modi became Prime Minister, uh, it would seem like on every issue, whether presidential elections, vice presidential elections, even demonetization, you stood with the... Uh, with the Prime Minister, with the BJP as well. So from ye dosti hum nahi chodenge, say how did you become Jani Dushman? Jigri dost to Jani Dushman. Uma, just because you side with somebody and vote on a certain bill what on a certain wrong? issue. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Just because you, sir, you vote along with somebody on a certain uh, issue doesn't mean you become the best of friends. Jani Dushmani, Jani Dosti, aisa kuch nahi hai. The point is, there are occasions when you side, you know, there are occasions when a bipartisan uh, kind of an uh, environment comes up and you, all of you tend to vote. For example, GST. I think there wasn't any opposition per se to GST. On president election, vice president election also, we had uh, no problems in voting for the candidates that they've chosen. Even demonetization we supported because it seemed to be in the larger interest of the nation. What has changed, if you ask me? I think what has changed is two things. One, as a political party, as a mature political party, we have chosen not to actually spar on frivolous issues with government of India because we believed as a new state we need as much support as we can from government of India. We believe that they will deliver on the promises that they've made in their AP Reorganization Act. We also believe that there would be parity in treating us uh, on par with other states and, you know, BJP rule states versus other states. But when we have realized that in eight years, Prime Minister Modi and his team have done nothing but discriminated against the new state of Telangana, have dishonored every promise that was made in the AP Reorganization Act, have not even sanctioned a single educational institution, have not delivered on a single promise that they've made to the people of this nation. We have no choice but to come out and tell the people that these are the things that are unfolding across the country and this is what TRS's stand is.